What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. And this is going to be about rumored plot details and rumored things about the cast and why we haven't gotten any announcements as it pertains to Scream 6. So I guess if you do not want any potential spoilers, you can click off of the video. But going into where this is coming from, this is coming from clips underscore comprehend over on Reddit and this is the same individual who from what i can recall i don't know if this is where everyone else got got it from they were the ones talking about how nev had already signed on i'm looking at one of their very first posts they talked about how the plot takes place in one town and a bigger city and then they were saying that this would be the first place of course that would have two locations and a ghost face killing one and another ghost face killing in the other uh and then he, they also stated that the character names would be Rory, Leslie, Christina. And now, of course, Christina is uh, presumably the mother of Sam and Tara. Leslie, assuming, assuming that's Leslie Mocker. They had also stated at that time, now this is a post from a month ago. They had stated that the film itself and the cast was going to be announced next week. As it pertains to when they first posted that. Now, they gave an update a few weeks after that stating that kirby reed had been cast so hayden pantier had been cast and her sequence in the movie will be filmed last which is funny because their scene is first in the movie and yes her and her boyfriend do get a replicated scene of casey and steve and kirby apparently is in seclusion after a failed attempt at her life and he is they are adamant saying screenshot this post when the movie releases and they also know who got casted as the character of rory so here's the thing in the initial post where they were talking about how nev had already signed on to talk about where the plot takes place in two different towns they said that the opening kill would involve a character from screen five and their boyfriend now i guess you can say kirby is a character from screen five i guess you can say that <laughs> i guess but i think that's one little hole already again to add on to why you probably shouldn't take this that serious the other thing that they said about this scream 6 movie is related to nev campbell even further who again has not come out herself stating that hey yeah i'm in the movie there's been no official press release or anything like that we've gotten nothing ac according to radio silence and anything that has to do with this production despite this person saying that we were supposed to get something a few weeks ago uh but they said something about Nev Campbell and her involvement as Sydney Prescott and what Sydney's role would be in the movie. Apparently, from what they're claiming, Sydney is going to be a cliffhanger ending where she takes a call at home after the events of Six unfold, and that's her part. Now, they followed up by saying that I won't say who lives or dies, but you're close. They finally confirmed the cast member, which most guests would be in the movie. That character was the holdup. The cast was going to be announced a couple weeks ago. I just read the draft of the case announcement. And I think fans, I think for fans of the five, for the fifth movie, I guess, you will be happy. I will divulge that Sam is Tara's helicopter mom in this, and that's where she fits into the college scenario with Tara and mostly her new friend group. So it seems like this will, I guess, be, if it's true, focus more on Tara. Sam being a helicopter mom, from what I recall, helicopter mom, that meaning just has to do with being very overprotective of one's safety uh, or one's child. So like Freddie Benson's mom and iCarly. <laughs> they also made a comment about the recent letterbox cast rumors. This is more recent from 16 hours ago. They said this is 100% fake. The cast list was pushed back for one reason and that was because one person dropped out very late, citing personal family obligations. Backup was locked in six days later. A contract has been signed. Little promo from Radio Silence will drop via Bloody Disgusting soon. They're claiming that date is going to be May 13th. Now, May 13th will be, I guess, when we can see if this person is true or somebody we can take seriously. Now, it doesn't mean that what they're saying isn't going to be true because, again, this is shades of what happened with Screen 5. For any of you who actually lurked over on Reddit and remember how that all went down and how most of that stuff ended up being true uh, for the events of Screen 5. So as it pertains to 
what they had to say all of it's very interesting you know kirby being an opening kill not opening kill but being in the opening i would love it if they're doing a casey steve type of thing i would imagine what they're going to do is have steve die but casey actually makes it out alive this time this time around of course our casey would be kirby reed they're not going to have both parties of the couple die to subvert expectations and knowing that hayden they stated that even before that that kirby had been cast before we even got the announcement regarding Hayden Pantier being associated with new management, I find that interesting. Again, all of this could just be easy predictions you can make going off of already established continuity and other known facts that are already out in the public. It'd be easy for you to, of course, make a lot of good predictions that are able to be then presented from you to others that don't know you as i have insider information that's all i'm trying to say because of the fact that they they haven't disclosed anything about the cast but i do think it's interesting that when they saw the letterbox post they they made it a point to say that it's fake they also gave reasoning as to why we haven't gotten that cast announcement that they claimed we were going to get many weeks ago during their earlier post talking about the film taking place in two different locations but nev campbell being a cameo in the movie that again is something that i was already considering and something i wouldn't mind having if you're having her as a cameo to set up scream 7 that's more useful than nev campbell sydney prescott being present for a long period of time with no real relevance to the overall story she's just there because she is the kim possible of our narrative somebody called her beeped her they wanted to reach her and she came running i don't want that for sydney in this movie Sidney Prescott needs a purpose, so if the purpose here in this movie is just a small cameo used to set up Scream 7 and build intrigue, I'm all for it. Maybe what happens if this is true is that one of the killers gets caught, the other one doesn't, and they manage to contact Sydney by holding maybe Gail hostage or something, and that could be a way to bridge us into Scream 7. And maybe the opening of Scream 7 will be an attack on Sidney Prescott at home. I know a lot of you would be down for that. I know a lot of people will also be against a cliffhanger ending for Scream 6. Because then what happens if Scream 6 isn't successful like many people think. I do think that that would also be a nice way to kind of just market your movie. The idea that Sidney isn't in it. Nev Campbell did not return. But then again you have a big surprise when you go watch the movie. Because here she is for at least two or three minutes. Not that that's something that will be satisfying to you a die hard. But you'll love it still. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Do you think any of it is true? I'll leave a link to it in the description. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then miss video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.